glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for a much anticipated main event. 12 rounds of lightweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Davis is on his way to the ring right now, and you can see how excited he is for this one. Lots of confidence. Lopez is so alert right now. I mean, look at his focus as he makes that walk that so many fighters dread, but he makes that walk down to the ring just so very alert. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. We're scheduled for 12. Here's round number one. Blocks the headshot. Shake it off, shake it off. It's all right, it's all right. What are some of the adjustments that can typically be made halfway through a matchup like this of speed versus speed? Just to remind your charge, your fighter, that, hey, there's a lot more to this world, to this fight, than just speed. Why don't you start doing other things? Why don't you start fainting a little bit? Get the guy out of position a little bit. Get him into false moves. has been hurt by that shot. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. through this round here didn't get it done going to the body there a little head hunting with the right up a cut up a cut yeah He missed with that headshot. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. the talk good block by bad intentions the end of the round is upon us and now this fighter will hear some atta boys from his corner he just got to his man good he did and he's feeling real good now having that kind of round but he also has to hear something else from his corner 
Don't forget how you got to that point. Don't get intoxicated. Don't get drunk by the success of that one punch. All right, listen. Stop waiting on him. You're waiting on him. Don't wait on this kid. Put your jab in his face and keep it there. Keep the it pumping. The keep it pumping all the time. Listen. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the metal of a person is when you test them, when you push them up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's shown what he's made of. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the Mongoose. Not much action as he just ties up. Sound defense. Good block that time by Lopez. Keep moving. The Mongoose is on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. Come and on, he man. returns on that Get exchange. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. He took a shot, but he gives one. That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now, expecting the clinch. Showing you some defense there with the block. Oh, no. Not able to land the headshot. there he may hit the floor well he may be in bad shape but all of a sudden solid what a right hand that was that floored him one two three four five. Lopez is back up on his feet what will he look like in the next few moments of this fight, that's the big question. Hey, get out of there. You gotta see that coming, champ. Let's go. You gotta nice see block that. that time. It was intended to the head. Final 10 seconds of round number two. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. Lopez is, gets a chance at redemption here with a fresh round. But, Teddy, I'm always concerned as to how a fighter looks after he's been knocked down in the last round. Well, it depends how much experience he has. And he has enough experience to handle this, to kind of shake it off, get himself Keep together, and move good, forward. Good. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Davis. A headshot blocked. Uh, 
He digs in with a left hand to the body. Nice work, nice work. Double up on those punches, double up. Come on, double up on the punches. Lopez is not putting forth much offense at all. Now listen, I get it. You put forth some offense, you got hurt, you were stunned in this fight, so now you're strictly thinking defense. But at some point, he's got to change. Yeah, he does, otherwise he can't win this fight. And his opponent is just gonna keep coming, coming like that ocean, banging into that shore, and it's gonna come further up the shoreline. It's not gonna go away. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. The mongoose's inability to hit the target is really making him look silly right now. He's throwing plenty of punches, just none of them are landing. No, he's throwing them too wide, too far away, and what's going to be worse Right now, he's only getting frustrated, maybe embarrassed, as you touched on, but what's going to be worse is when he starts getting counted in between them. Still not moving enough. Move, about this? Keep working above it. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Looking good, baby. You're looking real good. Last ten seconds of round number three. And that's the end of round three. And every time you throw that jab. I want to see you land that overhand right. Go out and get him. Go out and fight this guy. Take it to this guy. You have to go and get this guy. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Listen, I want you to pick his job. Round number four is underway as we look at Teddy's scorecard, and you can see what a difference the knockdown can make. Davis's fans have to be loving this early lead. Yeah, but with that power, you know, he can make a mistake, and he can win the fight. His opponent can't afford any mistakes, and not any more mistakes. Keep doing what you do. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. That's what I want to see, baby. That's what I want to see. Body shot, body shot. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. <laughs> keep moving, keep moving. That's, that's it. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. <laughs> Bad intentions is left now getting into the mix. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Jump on him right now. Nice, nice. Bad intentions is defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Davis is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. He's tied. 
game. Yeah, champ, he's tied. Look at him. Keep moving. Keep moving. <laughs> Doing great, champ. The mongoose is banged by a Ooh, left oh, hand. Knock him out. You got it. <laughs> Davis is rocked by a big shot there. What a wild round. And there it is. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in, he did One, get it. He three, got it. Three, four, five. Davis is now getting back up Super off the canvas. Good, the Mongoose good. is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. <laughs> What a revealing round we just saw. Each man was able to hurt the other. You really can tell how much is on the line here between these two. Yeah, they both came here. I mean, they're in the best shapes of their career. They came here understanding what this fight means. Stay away from the power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? There you go. Keep moving. Now, don't let him get that power shot off, all right? Now, listen, you need to keep moving out there. As soon as you... It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go. Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Oh, what a whiff by Lopez. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. <laughs> Davis is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. And that does it for this round. The Mongoose is getting an earful here. He's being reminded, you put yourself in position to win, but you have to stay on course in order to win. Come on.
Simon. This is yours. You hear me? Escuches. This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Keep throwing punches. Throw, throw punches, okay? Don't walk into him without throwing a punch. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round of what has been a very even fight. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Davis. Two snapping jabs by Lopez. Bad Intentions is throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are landing. And that can be very discouraging to the guy who's throwing them because he's working, but he's starting to get a little frustrated, a little concerned that he's not doing damage, as you said. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Davis. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. You're doing good. Come on, keep working the body. Keep working the body. And he's holding. Uh. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. just holds on there. The Mongoose is showing us a great display of one of the best elements of defense, Teddy, and that is your ability to make your man miss by moving your head. And now what his opponent has to do is he has to understand, hopefully he's been taught this, that yeah, the head moves, but the body doesn't. The body is stationary right in front of you. Right now his opponent should not be going to that head. He should be going downstairs. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Wow, what an impressive left hand by the Mongoose. And he catches a lucky break. Saved by the bell here at the end of the round, Teddy. Yeah, right away you're thinking, you know, where do I spend my time right now? You want to tell him things that can help him, but he is really groggy right now, so you got to get him clear-minded first. Not fight going backwards, all right? Back him up. Cut the ring off. Back him up. Six rounds in the books, six to go. Bad Intentions is in a cycle right now that's not paying off for him. He has been busy. Yes, he's committed to trying to be on the attack, but not enough of these punches are landing. Now, I would not call this guy in, from what I've seen, to paint my house. Because, I mean, this guy looks like he paints graffiti boards. I mean, he's just throwing stuff in there, like you said. And it's just, it's not... It's not making a picture you want to see. It's not accurate. It's not effective. Well off the mark by Lopez. Left and right. Left and right. Come on, baby. Come on, punch, punch, punch. That's it. Back to 
the body, back to the body. Bad intentions is proving to be elusive. He's still not moving enough. Come on, hey, now move. You got move. Let's go. Let's go. At the halfway point of round seven. It's not. Hey, man, come on now. Keep your feet moving. Come on now. The mongoose is showing that he has an understanding about balance, about angles, about footwork. What does his opponent need to understand to deal with it? Well, he has to figure out a way to take the air out of those tires. Give him a couple flats. That's what he's got to do. And there's no better way to give a guy a flat than to go to that body. Come on, kid. Focus now. I need you to focus for me. Could this be the start of a big comeback? He went from owning this fight to now nearly down and out. You know, that's what makes boxing so great. Yeah, you can come back just like that. One punch at the right time. That was at the right time. Jab. Pop the jab. Use the jab. Use the jab. Get out of there. This is damage. Can you believe this? Each man has hurt the other. Work the body. Relax. Now relax. Deep breath. Hey, keep your feet moving. And the round comes to an end. I want to come forward this round. Keep that jab moving. Keep him away from it. All right? I need you to keep moving. Relájate, relájate. Relax, relax. You're okay, you're okay. Teddy's scorecard at the beginning of round number eight. Lopez is the lead. But he's taken some damage, Teddy. Yeah, it's been a good day for him, but there's been some clouds. And there's raining a little bit. He just has to worry that it doesn't start raining harder. Pace yourself. You're doing good. Locked that away, it was targeted for his head. Lopez is really impressing us go, here, defensively go. impressing us. I mean, it's so easy to say, wow, look at the punching, look at the power. But Teddy, you gotta appreciate what he's doing with defense. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons why you can say that you appreciate, you know, the aggression or the power and all these things. He can afford to be aggressive because he doesn't get hit. Keep it up, keep it up. Missed the target with that hook. Now hugging on the inside. Keep your hands up. Come on. Oh. Hook. Hook. He wide open for the hook. Man, that's it, baby. Good job. Good job. <sighs> now he ties up there. The halfway point of round number eight. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on now. Left and 
right, left and right. Come on, baby. <sighs> Missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by bad intentions. You're still not moving enough. Come Last on, 10 seconds move. of the eighth move. round. <laughs> this round is in the books. And it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit. Physically and mentally, the other guy is starting to impose himself on him. Right? How you feeling out there? No, you're not winning this fight, okay? You're not winning. He's beating you. I need you to throw more than one punch out there, okay? More than one punch, Tom. They start up again. Back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. You're not focusing. Come on, kid, focus now. I need you to focus for me. Davis has got to do more than this. I mean, you can't just sit there stationary Pocket and expect jab, the night to go jab, your way. Jab. This fight is going opposite of how he needs it to go right now. Well, maybe it's not, Joe. Maybe he's given up already. You know, it's all about what's going on in the mind of a fighter. Maybe he's given in, and this is his way, believe it or not, of getting the ref to stop this fight. Relax. Keep working. Keep working. Halfway through the ninth round. See him holding on. That's it. That's it. <sighs> Do that again. That looked good. Do that one more time. <sighs> Pace yourself. Pace yourself. You're doing good. Final chance, last 10 Uppercut. seconds of round Uppercut. nine. Yeah! Keep moving, gotta be here. Lopez's inability to really step on that gas pedal a bit, just be a little more offensive-minded is really catching up with him. That last round was unimpressive. It's just not his temperament, and you know what? I'm afraid it's not gonna change right now. It's kind of like being in a room, being in a party with somebody, and you say, hey, come on, talk a little bit more. You know, everybody else is talking. It's just not his way. He's not a talker. This guy is not okay. a busy fighter. That was a round. I missed it, coach. You need to establish that job. Yeah, we'll 
And now they start round number 10. for his opponent, another knockout for him. Bad Intentions has shocked himself just as much as I think he shocked us. Who would have ever thought a late knockout here this thing was assured to go to the scoreguards, but it's over. You know, you made a good point. Who would have ever thunk it? Whoever would have thought of it? But his opponent never thought of it. He got loads of sleep, and that's why he's sleeping on the canvas in front of us right now. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.